May is Skin Cancer Awareness Month. Did you know skin cancer is the most common cancer in the U.S.? But it's also the easiest to cure if it's diagnosed and treated early. How to spot it is the focus of today's Living a Better Life. Nice to see you again. So I understand you're coming in for your body exam. Mm -hmm. Getting a regular skin check with a board certified dermatologist is now part of Loretta Tester's routine. That's because the Dearborn woman found not one, but two basal cell carcinomas on her face just a few years ago. The first one on her nose. It was like a little pink spot up here. She said she noticed the spots after seeing the story about my skin cancer. You see patients like me all the time though. I mean, this is really common. It is very common. I had described how I noticed a dome-shaped bump on my upper lip that was translucent or skin-colored and may have had some blood vessels at the base. Basal cell can also show up as a flatter pink scaly patch. I saw that and I go, wow, I have a spot on my nose that I'm not sure about. And I thought, well, you know, it wouldn't hurt to come and find out. I did come here, they did a biopsy, and they found out it was basal cell carcinoma. Well, most people don't realize, but one in five Americans will develop non-melanoma skin cancer in their lifetime. Dr. Helen DeSaw says 99% of non-melanoma skin cancer is caused by the sun. Loretta grew up playing outside before the use of sunscreen became common, so the damage was likely done decades ago. That's why Loretta also keeps an eye out for the second most common type of skin cancer, squamous cell. It usually looks like a scaly patch or red crusted area on the skin, a firm red nodule or a non-healing ulcer. The third kind of skin cancer is the deadliest, melanoma, often developing in or near an existing mole. So dermatologists recommend you use the ABCDE rule for identifying warning signs. A for asymmetry, where half the mole is unlike the other half. B for border is about identifying irregular or poorly defined borders. C is for color when one part of a mole is a different color or shade. D stands for diameter. If a mole is more than six millimeters or larger than the size of an eraser head, that could be a problem. And E for evolving. If a molar skin lesion starts to change or look different, see your doctor. I'm so glad it, it turned out. Oh, I know. Loretta now sees her dermatologist every six months. We want to thank Loretta for sharing her story. Skin cancer, if left to grow, can actually be disfiguring, even deadly. The good news is skin cancers are the easiest cancers to treat if detected early. The best defense is not getting a sunburn ever. That's hard to do. Another reason to make sure that you and your children are wearing sunscreen early and often. And we have some sunscreen guidelines for you with this story on WXYZ.com. So. And it's important that all people wear sunscreen, That's right. you know, including African Americans, people with darker skin tones, uh, we're still subject to uh, skin cancer. As Anybody well. can get skin damage. That's right.